Hello everybody, so Warner Brothers announced Hogwarts Legacy, this is, was on September 16. Uh, and we're gonna read more information about it so we can learn a bit more. Uh, this is one of the games that I personally looking forward to play the most. Uh, and I think this game has a potential to really shine on next-gen consoles. So from the press release, uh, Warner Brothers Games today announced Hogwarts Legacy. An open world single player action role playing video game set in the 1800s Wizards world. Players will experience life as a student Hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardy like never before as they leave the Han Witten and embark on a dangerous journey to uncover a hidden truth of the wizarding world. Developed by Avalanche and published by Warner Brothers Games under Portkey Games label. Hogwarts Legacy will release in 2021 for, again, uh, for all the platforms, not just uh, PlayStation 5 as some thoughts, for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, uh, and PC. So again, for all current and next-gen console as well as PC, Microsoft Windows. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy is filled with immersive magic, putting players at the center of their adventure to become the witch or wizard they choose to be. This is cool because what we can see here that you can probably choose, you know, uh, uh, a different uh, camp and maybe become evil or good, maybe, you know, I mean, become a witch or wizard they choose to be. So maybe I decide to be kind of a dark evil wizard. Well, I don't know, but well, if there is an option for that, that will be interesting. They reward the character's abilities as they master powerful spells, hone combat skills and select companions, which is great, companions, we're gonna have pets, to help them face off against deadly enemies. Players will also encounter missions and scenarios that will pose difficult choices and determine what they stand for. Yeah, that's why I think we're gonna have the option, I can come decide whether we're gonna go to the good side or evil side. Now this is of course an RPG game, so they continue and uh, uh, mention in the press release, Hogwarts Legacy gives players control over their own experience with RPG gameplay, unlike anything else in the wizarding world, which will continue to build fan appeal in the Portkey Games label, uh, said David Haddad, President Warner Brothers Games Avalanche has brought to life this rich and deep world full of action-packed magic as well as detailed mysterious story to engage fans and gamers alike. Now there's even more information. Um, as the cl uh, climactic story begins, players grow their magical abilities by mastering spells, brewing potions and taming fantastic beasts. Along the way, the one <laughs> taming fantastic beasts? This will be crazy. Along the way, they will uncover an expensive world filled with uh, pilious dangers tied to the wizarding world's long forgotten past and an unusual ability that only they possess. The open world journey takes players beyond Hogwarts to new and familiar wizarding world locations including the Forbidden Forest and Oxmead Village. Now, I don't know about you, but I got really excited when I watched the trailer. I mean, being able to kind of dive into the shoes of Harry Potter, although we're going to play as a different character, but kind of becoming a wizard uh, in Hogwarts, this is something I always wanted to. And I play other Harry Potter games, and although they're nice, I think this is a great opportunity to really kind of uh, enjoy a game that uh, can really shine through uh, next-gen consoles and high NPCs because it's going to feel more... Uh, uh, immersive and detailed uh, like never before because it's running uh, on next-gen consoles. Now here you can see how beautiful the world looks, very detailed and if that was part of the gameplay, which I guess it is, this part, uh, it just looks absolutely amazing. And uh, This is exactly what I want to see. I want to see all these amazing practical effects of me casting spells, uh, everything. Look at the textures, absolutely amazing. I think this is uh, another part of the game, right? not 100% sure because there are some cinematics, but just looks absolutely gorgeous. Now from what I've seen so far, actually this one was uh, looking like the one that can really shine on next-gen console, so one of the titles that can really expect it to look amazing 
on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and IN PCs. Question is, well, where do you see a big difference? Because we're going to release on the PS4 and also Xbox One. So the question is, well, when are you going to see a huge difference in terms of visual fidelity between current consoles and next-gen consoles? I personally just hope that this game will be kind of uh, broad enough, have a, nice, a lot of uh, campaign uh, depth. Uh, it will feel linear and we have kind of more choices like we have in more in other RPG games. So we can really kind of uh, uh, customize the characters and progress with it in the way that we like. And maybe this will have consequences uh, in the way that the story evolves. Something that I'm looking forward to. Other than this, this is all the information I have so far uh, for Hogwarts Legacy. Again, definitely looking very promising. Um, and I want to hear your opinion. What do you think about this game after seeing the trailer, even here um, in this video? Are you looking forward to this game? Do you think it can really shine on next-gen consoles? Well, uh, of course, we need to wait and see, but I want to hear your opinion. So again, thanks for watching, everyone. Consider subscribing to my channel and giving a like. And I'll see you very soon on the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.